Running through the fields where all my tracks will be concealed because it's so white as snow. Like there's bound to be some snow to come and cover up those old tracks that you yeah. made up. Once again, it was John came up with, with, with all those guitar parts, those beautiful guitar parts. That verse guitar part is insane. That, that sort of thing where you're going like... That got kind of Jimi Hendrix like rhythm technique or whatever. But it had been done the way he did it a lot. And so doing, doing, it, doing it the way I did it on this song was, was just a different approach. The... So it doesn't sound like Jimi Hendrix, but in essence, it's not that far from, well, from home. I, I taught John that lick, actually, <laughs> so. And he just, he took it from there, but it was, you know, it was the seed. And then we built a song around it. We all started doing our thing. And um, that's, that's the cool thing about that song to me, uh -huh. <clears throat> is that John came in with, um, to the naked ear, what sounded like a very rhythmically complex piece of music. Uh -huh. You know, almost like... <clears throat> some kind of flamenco mm -hmm. business and, mm -hmm. and like how are you going to work bass drums and vocals into something that's already so dense right. but, but we really all found quite quickly yeah. um, our place within that really busy yeah. canvas, you know? Yeah. That's where the song really gets written, you know, is, 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 when, is when each guy like adds his own flavor to it because because uh, in so many cases, I have no idea what, what the actual groove's gonna sound like, even though I have a guitar part, you know? It feels very um, cleansing. Mm -hmm. It's a cleansing number. What's it about? <sighs> um, it's about uh, the repeated failure to start your life anew, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. And about, you know, how difficult it can be to get rid of old ways of thinking uh -huh. and old... Uh, destructive ideas uh -huh. that we become so attached to. Yeah. Like, we just don't think that we could actually go forward without, in some way, keeping hold of this old way of thinking. Yeah. But that really, once you get rid of all of those old ways of thinking, you kind of start off with the blank canvas. Uh -huh. You know, how freeing that is and how it really does allow you to, to open up and, and, and be a free man. It's epic. It, it has the, the, uh, the just that big, huge outro, you yeah. know. I remember when, when <laughs> it was almost funny in rehearsal when we were first doing it outro. You were laughing out loud. Well, it was hysterical. How about Anthony when we first? <laughs> <laughs> because you, <laughs> you just say, oh, oh yeah, hey. oh now, oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> I still laugh whenever Anthony starts singing that. Hey, ooh, yeah. <laughs> and we were doing it for like you know twenty minutes. We or wouldn't. We wouldn't stop doing for it for hours. <laughs> you were just like, oh yeah, oh now. I was. I was feeling it. Yeah, you were feeling it. it was I was great, feeling it, and it you just... looked over at me and just started howling. <laughs> Oh my God, that guy's stealing it! He just busted out with the extremely manly, like, hey, it was, right? That was like the first thing he did, too. Yeah, and I'm like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>